I was finally able to install successfully install um, Regolith and Bumblebee on my uh, virtual machine. Um, one of the things that I would normally do if I wanted to uh, test it out test out an application in Linux is first and foremost I would try I would try to install it on my uh, virtual machine or virtual uh, box. Then um, eventually, if I'm if I'm comfortable in using it already, I would uh, replicate it on my uh, uh, laptop or on my other um, machines. Okay, so as you can see, I've already raised it up a bit <coughs> um, to my own preference. Um, so the core behind this one is still a regolith, a uh, tiling window manager. Um, I also added here on top um, Bubble B uh, status bar. Okay, and this added some other applications. Okay. So I'm what I'm going to do this uh, today is I'm just going to uh, show you some of the config files that I basically did to rise up my uh, 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 Linux machine. Okay, so let me just try to I, I didn't change any key, key bindings on my application. It would say it's still very much the same. So let's say for example if we wanted to open um Rofi. I would still uh, press uh, window then space to open my Rofi. Uh, if I wanted to open a new terminal, I would still press um, control uh, window then um, enter. Okay, it would still be the same. Um, so as you can see, as I've also installed um, this one or NeoFetch along or uh, NeoFetch, and at the same time also I tried to open my batch RC. And try to add this one. So let me just try to show you first uh, how I did this one. That every time I open my uh, terminal, I would uh, run my NeoFetch. Okay, so nano bash rc. Okay. So I have here new. I added this uh, particular um, line at the bottom. Okay, uh, runs NeoFetch every time. Uh, I open my terminal. Okay, then just press enter. I uh, press Control S to save. Okay. Um. Now, uh, I I changed some of the fonts here a bit. So let me just try to show you guys. So CD config. Um. Let's try to open. Nano Compton dot Okay, so for the opacity, <coughs> I added this one opacity rule opacity dash. Okay, that's why. Uh, I added uh, opacity dash rule. I, I actually um, initially it, it didn't change the opacity, so I, I needed to add this one. Um, I, I did need to change it to uh, uh, it's a window setting, but uh, I was able to find out the cause of the uh, error. So this one, I forgot to uh, add the letter O. So we have here, uh, it should be opacity dash rule equals. Then you have here the opacity class underscore G is equals to gnome terminal. So gnome terminal basically is your application that you wanted to have an opacity. Uh, Okay, so then just pre press enter, save, then um, you can just try to uh, run um, Compton again. Okay, but just try to type Compton on your um, terminal. So that's how I would normally test it out. <coughs> um, another thing that I also did was uh, try to change the font here on top. So let me just try to show you. So let's try to open Regolith. Uh, this one, it's also under my... Uh, config uh, dot config uh, directory so it's a hidden directory so let's try to open um, cd regolith uh, let's press enter okay then that's it okay so um, let's try to open first uh, then try to open um, x resources now uh, I added this just this lines of code for my X resources, um, basically X resources is a uh, config file for um, the I for for i3 for for the IT window manager. So I I just added the following lines. So it's not actually done, but it's already enough for me. 
to give it to, to give my desktop um, the looks that I wanted it to have. So Devi i3 um, size in order for me to uh, put um, gaps in between my window. So again, uh, let me just try to show you. If I were to press um, window then enter, uh, as you can see, there's a gap in between. That's uh, actually 10. Then we have here a uh, type font free mono 12. Um, this is for the terminal. Okay, I, as you've noticed, the, I changed also the font of my terminal. Um, terminal dot use um, transparent touch background true. Then for the position of the i3 window manager bar, which is this one, I I I change it uh, to top. Okay, change the position on uh, to be on top of my uh, desktop. Then um. The separator color uh, again the change I also changed the font to 12 free mono 12 uh, then we have your pango um, uh, for the workspace this is actually the workspace number so I changed it to 12 and change the back the border color background color and the text color now this is actually the simple the the, the, the configuration bar of my uh, or the configure uh, or in order for me to change the status this is actually the for the config of my um window uh, or my bumblebee bar okay so basically i just did this one it has uh i, I only added um two flags you have here dash m is for module uh which module you wanted to load in your um bumblebee and dash t is for the theme so i i, I selected solarize so you have here memory um nick for the network you also have a uh, disk then um date and time okay as you can see for the for the battery you also have ac or um the it, it's currently plugged in because i'm using my uh, desktop which is um currently plugged in then it's for solarize okay for solarize actually is for uh, the theme uh basically that's actually uh how you would configure your um, Bumblebee. So one of the good things about Bumblebee um, window, uh, Bumblebee um, status bar is that it's quite easy to use. All you have to do is download it via Git. Then just try to point your um, i3 status command to that particular folder where Bumblebee is actually located. So let me just try to show you. Uh, CD. Okay, let's try to okay, it's not here okay so let's try um, bumble let's try to open first uh, regolith because I somewhat forgot where I actually placed it cd regolith um cd i don't know that's resources okay so i have to use this particular window um cd bumble b status okay i'm already inside my bumble b status so I actually just extracted Bumblebee on my uh, uh, on this folder. So as you can see, it, I, I did um, based on their website. Actually, all you have to do is just extract it. Although there are some dependencies on it, but it's not that hard to install compared to other like Polybar or Lemon Bar. Uh, I was actually having trouble um, installing Polybar before. So good thing I I was able to find um, Bumblebee do based on my research again. So that's why I have it here. That's why I have here um, Bumblebee. Okay. So let's say for example you wanted to change the theme. Um, let me just try to open a website. Okay. Then. Um, okay. Let me just try to open first. Okay, here it is. Um, key bindings, just what I've said, is still very much the same. Let me just try to open Google. 
Bumblebee. Uh, Bumblebee status bar. Okay. This is actually the website toby dash one dash kenobi slash bumblebee dash status. That's the website. That's the get that's the GitHub page where I got um Bumblebee. Um so this is basically it. Uh click here to list of avail available modules. Decide to look for themes. Theme. You can actually write your own theme if you want. Although I'm happy with this one already. Dependencies. Okay. So we have here a list of themes. So th though these are the different themes that we can use. So we have here currently Solarize. That's my default theme. Um, let's try to use, let's say, for example, Groovebox. Or, uh, yeah, uh, groove box light. Then, wind control window, control, uh, would should be window shift and R to refresh the page. Okay. So that's it. You have here on top already. It changed uh, to groove box light. Okay, so I'm just going to change it back to solarized. Then press reload the page again. Okay, so as you can see the I need to change also the uh, transparency. Uh, full. It's going to change the transparency later. Okay, so I change it back again. Um, okay, let's try to go back to na to Compton. Oh, Compton is already gone. So it was actually overwritten. Okay, let's try to write the code again for Compton. Mm -hmm. Opacity dash rule equals eight oh no eighty five Class G, then no terminal at the end. Okay, so let's try to reload. Okay, didn't try to change. Let's try to use this one. Reference color. Let's try to fix this one later. So class G eighty five opacity rule eighty five gnome terminal okay um so I to check the startup application Compton add so to edit okay okay Compton sudo well set to reload I set to reboot Okay, so I was finally able to boot up my system. Okay, let me try to open again. Okay, so as you can see, the transparency is back. Uh, again, this one system program problem. I think I'm just I still need to fix this one. I think it's on the upward. Okay, cancel. Okay, so um, what are some other things that I installed on my uh, virtual box or my machine? Is of course my all-time favorite Uni Matrix. Okay, 
Let's try to enter again. Um, open a new terminal. Also try to install a Ranger. Ranger File Manager. Okay. Then again, press enter. As what I've said, the key bindings uh, wasn't changed, so I would still need to press um, Window then Shift, then try to uh, navigate via my arrow keys. Um, I also did this one. Um, tty dash. Okay sudo tty dash clock so i need to add dash s to display the seconds then press n okay it's asking for the password that's it so it's 17 5 17 45 seconds to date um what else okay now since i cannot basically install um conky what i uh, what i just did was do this one Mm -hmm. Set to go here. Uh, I did uh, try to change this one. So to put it here, I try to change it. Try to put this one on top. Try to put this one here. Uh, yep. Then, okay. Now for this one, let's try to add um, each top. Now each top is also a great um, system monitor. Since I cannot actually install, so I've said conky, I just in, I installed them each top. Then I need to press Control Shift. Okay, in order for me to make this one float, Control Shift F. Okay. Try to clear this one up. Then try to reload again. New fetch. New fetch. Okay, so basically that's it. That's how I um, rise up my uh, virtual box. Uh, Ubuntu virtual box. Um, if you find this um, application, uh, if you find this video guys interesting or maybe edu educational, uh, feel free feel free to subscribe or click the like button. I would really appreciate it very much. Thank you very much, guys.